Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a great honor today to join in paying tribute with the other parties to the citizens of Canada who have made sacrifices. Where are these poppies? I, we are supporting financially the work of the Royal Canadian Legion. And I want to publicly thank the Royal Canadian Legion for the amazing work they are doing. They are providing much needed assistance to our veterans in post-traumatic stress disorder assistance. They are providing housing. They are stretching themselves to meet needs. And I am deeply indebted to them for their work and encourage people to remember to wear the poppy and when one falls off, to be sure to put more money in the box before you pick up your next one. This is important work they are doing. On nom de Parti Vert, nous sommes... On behalf of the Green Party, I want to say that we are very much aware of the sacrifices that soldiers must make in order to defend our Canadian values. Go to war. We can think of their sacrifices, and on days like this, and indeed on weeks like this, we pay homage. But we have, I think, as non-combatants, the very real risk of trespassing a line between honoring the fallen remembering and honoring their sacrifice and glorifying war. We know that those who have served and those who have been in battle will be the last ones who would ever want us to do that. One of my closest friends is someone who participated, fought, and served in the Second World War. Despite an age difference, I can say that I feel that I'm one of his contemporaries, although he is 92. Uh, Farley Mowat served in the Hastings and Prince Edward Regiment, known as the Hasty Peas. And in his book, And No Birds Sang, he recounts in grim, evocative detail what it was like in the Sicily campaign. He speaks of that period and says, quote, I came back from the war rejecting my own species. I hated what had been done to me what I had done, and what man does to man. It is in that spirit that we should all recommit ourselves to find the way forward to peace. And in doing so, do it in the name of every son, brother, father, mother, sister, and child who's gone to war without coming back. We do it to say that we are committed to a path to peace knowing that it's not an easy path, and knowing that we do it to honor those who've sacrificed so much so that we have the liberty to try. La paix demeure. Peace remains an achievable dream, but we must work for hard to achieve it. You gathered today in one of those days when we are joined, truly joined in spirit and in purpose. We say, Never again, lest we forget. Thank you.